Hey, welcome back. I'm Ellie and it is time for me to get an electric car with the price of petrol as it currently is. I definitely need yeah, an electric car, but I cannot afford one except for this. The Lego Friends one. <laughs> this is it. Oh my gosh, why do they not make electric cars affordable? Like, I have more charging points here in Australia. Anyway, Australia's really big, so I have lots and lots of, lots and lots of contingencies. But anywho, uh, this one is a set from last year, but yeah, it's definitely something we should be building and having more of. There are 183 pieces in here. It's 20, it was $23 on release. You'll be able to find it on discount. Lots of places now, I think. Two bags, sheet of stickers, and an electric car. But we're not up to that yet. Now, Olivia is apparently driving this car. How do these teenagers afford electric cars? I don't know. I mean, how do they manage to fly some fly submarines, <laughs> drive submarines and fly helicopters and aeroplanes? It's all just make-believe world, but I wish that the electric cars were not make-believe. Anywho, so Olivia is wearing an outfit we've only seen once before in one of the cube sets, I think, which is a really, really cute outfit. There's also Mia in this set too, and a puppy, a little Dalmatian puppy. We'll meet them when we get into the second bag but first up very keen to get myself this car this car the only one that I can afford it's so sad I was so devastated to you know I mean how many people can't actually afford to to drive around at the moment due to the fact that their petrol prices are so horrifyingly out of reach Oh, anyway, that's just depressing and building Lego should never be depressing. So let's cheer up and build this cute car and I will pretend it's big enough for me to drive around in. Number plate is really cute. It's I heart, uh, yeah, you know, green charging, which is what we're going to be doing. The little leaf with the green charger. Okay, inside, just making sure I have everything where it's supposed to be because I'm not, I mean, if you've, if you've followed my channel before, you know that I'm not a keen vehicle builder. But in this case, I actually am for the first time ever. These uh, wheel arches are an interesting shape. Oh, I mean, wheel arches are just wheel arches, and yet there are so many different shape and size ones in Lego. I suppose that makes sense, because there are different size wheels too. Anyway, this is our dashboard by the look of it. We've got a sat-nav happening, which is very important for people like me who are really, really directionally challenged. So apparently it goes here in this tiled area, in that smooth top, but it's not attached to the... I don't know. And we got the steering wheel that you can... Mm, that's weird. So you can angle both of those. You can angle them downwards towards the driver. It's just weird to me though that they're on a tile. Anyway, I assume they'll be trapped in as we go on. They'll be securely popped in there. So this here is the other end of the car I'm going to assume. We've got... Mm, nice. Actually, I just need that sticker just to be a little bit straighter. Otherwise, it's not. I'm not going to be able to handle looking at it later. That looks nice. Okay, all right. So smoothing over the sides and uh, putting these bits on which are going to be the for the rear vision mirrors to be able to... What's wrong here? So those go... Uh... Oh, these go, oh, there we go. I've, got, I've just got around the wrong way. So that had to go there and that smooth tile bit. There we go. Now I just need to move everything around because I was looking at it around the wrong way. I had the back as the front or the front as the back. Anyway, it was reversed. So I need to move these here and yeah, this over like that. And those <laughs> little corner pieces need to move back too. That only needs to move back one. Now we look better. Now we can put those side mirrors on, which are actually just the little pink pinholes, which is really a cute idea a smoky black front and rear windscreen except I've still got something wrong there oh that's what that little outward facing white stud is for is to connect it to the to the electricity it's the fuel pump uh, per se okay this is the bonnet I think it's really nice I like that sticker it's actually very elegant it's not too cutesy all right, so that's the front bonnet. Now I've definitely got the car oriented the correct way, so that's a, that's a massive help. And this is going to be the roof. Got a pink detachable roof so, roof, so you can pop that on and off to get the figures in and out of it. Now we just need the wheels and putting all four of them together. And they actually have got little hearts as ornamentation on them. And I'm going to put them on for now, but I will probably take them off later because it kind of cutesifies it up a bit too much for me. I can only have so much cute in one electric vehicle. There we go. Okay, that's nice. Okay, electric car. That was so simple. 
<laughs> and so much cheaper than buying one or trying to import one from overseas. Okay, got our electric car done. Now we're up to bag number two. And this is the bag that we get Mia in. Mia is wearing an outfit that we've seen numerous times before now, but it's still very cute. So she's got her khaki green shorts, her little high-waisted shorts with the belt and the orange top with the lightning strikes on it. Same Mia face, same Mia hair. Once again, I'll remind you that this is a 2021 set. So yeah, okay, all right. So Mia has got a phone and she's also <laughs> she's also got a croissant. So she's brought a phone and a snack. So I suppose that's for while they wait for the car to re be refueled or whatever you call it when it's electric car. However, to completely refuel one or recharge, recharge one, that's what you call it. Uh, I think it's about eight hours. So <laughs> that's gonna be a long wait. That croissant is not gonna go very far. So maybe it's just a quick top up they need. So this is the charging station. I love that sticker. So that's where our car is going to have to pull up to. Got some, it's on a nice green area too. So I'm imagining that you can pull up to a park and <laughs> recharge your car. Is that real? I don't know. So more little green bits on the side here, attaching a nice curved bit. And what is actually powering the car? Well, it's actually, actually we'll find that as we go. In the, before we do that, the girls need somewhere to sit while they're waiting. They're not going to sit in the car. They're going to sit outside and enjoy the outside, the fresh air. And the fresh air is going to be fanned by a wonderful wind turbine, which is going to be also not just fanning them, but collecting the power of the wind to charge the car. So we need to build that, that quite substantial wind turbine for their charging point. So this here is going on top of all of these little cylinders. Nice big red stick inside to make it really, really stable and this I don't know what this bit is this bit looks as though it's designed to actually move so this has got oh this shows you how much it's charged so the car is mostly charged oh that goes under here why is there a ball joint on it though so that goes in here the yeah our wind turbine fanny bit goes on the top and oh this is what the what the ball joints for oh goodness me so we're adding solar power to this so when the wind is dead then hopefully you've got some sun so don't come and try and charge it at night so i do like that and we've got a dog bone which is attached <laughs> attached to the ground which is good it won't fall off and a little dalmatian so let's pop mia in here she can settle in with her croissant and and her phone and we'll get uh, the car in and see that little outward facing stud is where we plug it into the power charging station. All right, I think that this is not going to sit any closer to it because it is not going to be a bendy spring so it needs to sit nice and straight out like that. But that's okay, all right. It looks really, really cute and it is such a smart idea. It's definitely way past time to ditch the fossil fuels and embrace renewable energy from the wind and from the sun and from the sea. <laughs> okay, all right. It is definitely past time to subscribe. Click the notification bell if you haven't already done so. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the set. And I'll be back with another build really, really soon. And I want my electric car. I can't afford one. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye.